Good morning. I'm now joined with Bo Fondo with the Farm Service Agency. We're talking, of course, all things going on in the farming and agriculture industry. Good morning to you, Bo. Thanks How for being you? with us. Good. Thank you for being uh, for having me here. Of course. So we're talking about county office committee elections first. What's going on with that? With right. That? So we've had everybody that is going to nominate themselves or that was nominated by you know their constituents out in the field. They've all been loaded as far as into the system. As of November 7th, those ballots will start rolling out and people have from November 7th to the 5th to vote and turn those back in. Sometime after the 5th, we will collect all of them and sit in a tiny room and count them all. <laughs> all right. So turning now to crawfish certification, that's coming up right. soon. Right. Crawfish certification is coming up. The deadline is September 30th. For the most part, our computer system was open earlier this year than normal, so we were able to catch a lot of people come in as they certified their other crops and kind of do both years at once because it's two separate years, and which is why I'm saying that it was open earlier. Normally, we have to wait until our rollover period, which is after September 30th. Uh, so we are able right now to go ahead and start signing up, and we've got a lot of people, but we missed a lot of people. And some of those people don't come in for the other stuff, they just come in for the crawfish. We need them to come in before September 30th. We don't want to have to make them pay anything. We want them to get their, their stuff on the books. All right, that's an important thing. Listen that up is, there. All right, and moving on down to the Livestock Forage Program, what's going on with that? Livestock Forage Program is still active. Uh, we still have people coming in, so we still want to encourage people to spread the word. If you've already gotten your payment or if you've already come in and you know somebody else that has cows in your area or even other animals that, is, uh, that are commercial, uh, as far as pets don't count, uh, anything that is used for like shows or rodeoing or showing uh, uh, race horses or anything like that, those don't count. Other animals may count, just depending on what it is, call your local office and ask them. It doesn't hurt to ask. We'd rather you ask than miss out, you know. Uh, but yeah, we're still having people trickle in, so I want to try to make sure people are spreading that word that, hey, if you haven't come into the office or at least called, please call. Some yep. important for that's information right. there. Farmers.gov, that's where you can find additional information. Bo Fontenot with the Farm Service Agency. Thank Thanks for joining us, Bo. Thank you. We'll be right back.